you guys welcome back to my channel i am very excited for today's video it's been a little bit since i did a closet declutter sort of pared some things down and then today i wanted to try something a little bit different i wanted to put together a little bit of a spring and summer sort of capsule wardrobe situation so i'm excited to put that together and just sort of see how everything turns out if you're new to this channel or you're doing a deep dive into closet decluttering i do have some other videos on my channel i usually make these videos every few months or so whenever i clean up my closet I usually will take you guys along with me and of course you'll find a lot of tips and inspiration in this video I'll kind of show you guys how I organize things what works well for me and hopefully you get some ideas for yourself and if you're new make sure that you subscribe down below for new homemaking DIY and home decor videos every single week I keep on teasing that room makeover and it is starting to come to a close we're just getting some finishing touches down there there's a few more things I have to do that video is probably gonna come out in maybe three weeks to a month or so I really just want to make it like very like TV-esque and just like very professional looking. So make sure you're looking out for that video. Give this video a thumbs up if you found some inspiration today. And if you have any other closet decluttering, closet organization tips, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure we could all use them. And I believe that's everything. We are going to go ahead. I'm going to show you guys what I have going on here, show you guys the before, and then we will go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the closet. So I have a pretty standard small closet. It's just like, you know, not that big. It's not any like walk-in or anything like that, which is why I sort of have a bunch of organization in place. I did not tidy up anything. I need to go through my shoes and kind of put everything out and uh, get rid of that lunchbox there. Need to tidy these up. Also need to tidy those up as well as those. But this isn't really going to be our main focus. We're going to go through like my sock bin and everything. And this I keep all of my swimsuits in and just so during the winter they're just kind of out of the way and I don't need to see them. I have some dresses and more dressy things to go through. But this is the main thing that we're going to be paring down and just sort of working with today. As you can see, I have a bunch of like wintry and fall pieces still, and I just sort of want to tuck those away, and I'll sort of talk about that a little bit more. But yeah, like I said, if you haven't seen that first major declutter that I did, I will have that linked down below. This is when I sort of put everything into place and so far this has really just been working for me. So like I said, I do want to put together like a summer capsule wardrobe. If you don't really know what that means, I'm sort of loosely making my own definition for it just in a way that I think is going to function well for me. There's so many different methods that you can search when it comes to closet decluttering and organizing. Like there's the KonMari method, there's the capsule wardrobe method. There's so many things you could do like you could go down a rabbit hole of all different kinds of things that you could do. But for me, something that I found a lot of inspiration from and something that I really want to do is only have the pieces for that specific season visible. That way it doesn't obstruct like what you're gonna wear, anything like that. And of course, it just makes your closet look a lot more simplified. The first thing I'm going to do is take out all of my fall and winter pieces, sweaters, cardigans, anything like that, and I'm going to be putting those away. For me, my closet actually goes back pretty far, probably another like three feet, two and a half feet or so. So I'm thinking I'm going to get all of my winter pieces and fall pieces and just hang those up towards the back so they're out of the way. Another thing that I've seen a lot of people do and works really well for some people is getting a bin to put underneath your bed. You can just fold up those pieces that you don't want for that season and you can tuck them away so that they're not going to be taking up unnecessary space in your closet. Probably a good time to mention I share a lot of clothes with my sisters so there's like a bunch of stuff over there that's probably mine but I'm doing the best I can I went through their stuff and I got out all the stuff that is mine so for the winter and fall things I just put all of those in the back I also feel like this is gonna be a really good way to sort of get me excited for fall and winter and styling things so I feel like it's fun to sort of tuck all of those back there I also put my winter coat back there not gonna need it it's supposed to like get up to 90 today so we're definitely out of that weather 
thank goodness. But now we're going to be going through these. I think first thing I want to do is make yes and no piles and maybe some maybe piles. And what I think I want to do is take some more of the like dressy things here, put those towards the back because obviously that's not going to be part of like my everyday styling and things like that. Things like these more fancy t-shirts and things, other just like dressy tops are going to be more what I go for. Oh, I missed a winter one. And I can already see that there's a few things that I want to get rid of. So let's do that really quick and then we'll sort of talk more about the capsule wardrobe. Okay, so these are the piles. This is my yes pile. I have a few things in here that you guys probably don't see me wear, but these are more like work things. So like more fancy shirts and things. So the yes pile is pretty big. This is my no pile. I have two things here. This I've been anticipating getting rid of for quite a while. There's like a rip on it and then there's just like a little spot on it that we can't seem to get out. And then this I never wear. I would probably never buy this if I saw it in a store today. And then I have a small maybe pile. I love this sweatshirt. I think it's so cute, but these sleeves are too short on me, and I don't know, I just think it's so cute. Why do I not want to get rid of that? And then I have this like old navy like white tank top that I never wear, so I, I don't know. The thing about this one is that I feel like it's a good basic, and I also have some pants that I might go good with. I got the, I just got those recently, so I don't know. We're just going to leave these out for now, and then I'll make a decision. Next step I think is going to be putting everything back in here. Again, I'm going to put the more work-related stuff towards the back and more of like our capsule wardrobe things towards the front and then maybe we can start like putting some outfits together or something as i said i do have where those pants go i have some linen pants that i just got from lulu's so we're gonna see how many outfits and things we can make and then i also got like a new dress and like want to go through these so let's put everything back in and see how many pieces we're working with working with there are 13 here but I know that there's a gray shirt in the wash that I have plus this top so we're gonna say 15 and then we have all of the pants down here which you can't really see right here I hang all of them up for like my longer jeans I just sort of fold them in half and just like put them through the hanger and then something that I think is gonna be really big in like my summer outfits and styling this year are going to be these linen pants. These are super cute. I saw a bunch of influencers and specifically Kristen Johns has these linen pants and these are so cute, especially for me like being tall. I really hope that I can just like make some cute outfits with these. And then I have obviously like the bodysuit, this sort of like black cropped top that I'd wear with this. And I'm just excited for this. But we're gonna go through and see how many outfits we can make. I've seen like so many things on YouTube like with capsule wardrobes where they have like 12 tops and six bottoms and they can make like 30 plus outfits. And I feel like it's a really good way to just like get re-inspired and just sort of remind yourself of everything that you have in your closet. Because if you're anything like me, I will open this up and be like, I have nothing to wear. Speaking of which, going through these, I did realize that I do have some like gaps in my wardrobe as well. That's another good reason to go through your closet is to figure out the things that you lack in your closet like I just lack some basics like I have a couple here in the front but for the most part I have some very like colorful frilly things and I feel like I need to start looking around I kind of have been looking around but I just haven't found anything I'm trying not to like purchase things
things like really quickly without thinking about them. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find some more like investment pieces such as these. Speaking of which, I'll have these linked below. They're a bit more of an investment piece, but obviously they're linen. They take a little bit more work to upkeep, but I'm excited to see how these are gonna look in different outfits. So let's get some outfits put together. First up we have the linen pants. I'm hoping I can make a bunch of outfits with these. For me, I think anything that's like tighter is gonna go with these really well. So I think something like this bodysuit and these pants would look really cute together. So there's one. I ended up throwing the old navy top back into the mix. I still feel like that that's gonna look really good. And if I don't reach for it in the next month or two, maybe I'll get rid of it. That's another thing. A closet declutter isn't just like a one day sort of thing. You can set things off to the side and if you don't touch them for a couple months or for that whole entire season, you know that you don't need it. And then I feel like this would look really cute together. This is super cropped. This really isn't like me to get something like this, but these are super high-waisted. I don't really think I'd wear them with anything else just because it is so small, but it does look really cute with these linen pants. So that's three outfits. This one's a bit of a wild card for me. I feel like this one, it's really cute. I love this. I think this came from Kohl's. Yeah, most likely. But the th reason I feel like it might work with this, because even, like, even though it's like flowy at the bottom, it's kind of tight in the middle. So there's number four. And then this is number five. So this is basically like the same sort of thing. Just long sleeve. And lastly, for the linen pants, I also have this little uh, red cropped tank. It has like the little cross at the front, the little fold. I feel like that would look really cute with that. So I feel like we have some really good options. And that's another reason that I got these linen pants because I needed to like step up my like church apparel. There is that. And for bottoms, I have just like a variety of jeans and things. Now that I'm looking at these, these are very similar. If you're tall like me, American Eagle is probably your best friend when it comes to jeans. Shorts I can more get away with. These ones I got from Kohl's. But these are essentially one and the same. Like this one has a few rips. And these are the So brands. We probably got these for like 15, 20 bucks. So, gonna get rid of those. And also if you're short, I feel like American Eagle also has their sizes in short. I usually get all of mine in tall. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but look out for the sales because I got a new pair of jeans recently for like 30% off. Let's see how many bottoms we have. There's a few that I'm not gonna count as part of my wardrobe, like these khakis. These are more, obviously, they're long and I don't wear these on an everyday basis. I don't even like wear them to church. It's just one of those things where like someday you're gonna need them. And I just always have a pair on the ready. So that means all together I have one, two, three, four, five, oh, another pair of dress pants. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus thirteen for the shorts that I'm wearing here. So we have fifteen and fifteen. That's good to know. I guess that makes it easy because we have fifteen different tops and fifteen different bottoms. So if we're doing math, that'd be like 15 times 15, right? No, 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 no. Maybe not. It would be 15 by 15. Oh wait, I guess not all of these go together. These ones, I feel like are only going to go with a certain selection. So like these two go together. There's seven outfits. There's eight, nine, then we'll go 10, 11. And these shorts are really cute. I don't wear these very often, but now that I have like this cute little bodysuit, which by the way I got from Kohl's, I feel like I should be able to wear this more often, so that's exciting. came up to like 75 outfits which is actually really crazy another thing is I did end up counting all of my more wintery pants so like these I wear these to work but like during the summer as well as like these dark jeans which I may actually get rid of because I got some new ones oh yeah I have two of these these ones I bought at Kohl's and they're actually a bit too short on me shocker so I actually think I'm gonna get rid of these ones so okay quick declutter so out of 14 bottoms and 15 tops, we made a combination of 75 outfits. That is crazy. And it made me realize how many things go together, how many things I should be pairing together. Like I said, this isn't a super minimalist, very strict 
capsule wardrobe this is me just trying to simplify a little bit and really take inventory on what I have like I said I think I'm lacking a few basics like I color coordinated all of this you probably can't really tell because everything is very colorful and I like those sorts of pieces but I feel like I need more basics so whatever works for you if you have 30 tops and 30 bottoms and you wear them all go ahead for me that's a little bit excessive but I feel like this just really works for me so now that we have this figured out we're gonna do a really quick little maintenance check on the rest of this closet we're gonna be folding everything I've gone through these multiple times I wear these t-shirts all the time for multiple different things so they're probably much to get rid of there and then all of the dresses and things so we're gonna pare down on those there's a couple things maybe one or two things that I'm gonna get rid of there like I said I do this all the time so I feel like there's not much to get rid of but let's finish off the closet let's get it nice and beautiful tidy looking and I made to show you a couple different things along the way just to give you some ideas maybe I'll link a few things down below as well I did want to share with you guys this dress that I got from Altered State. This was a bit of an investment piece, but as I said, I'm sort of looking for some more church outfits, more dressy outfits, and I feel like this is just so cute. I love the pattern on it. It's just like this really pretty sort of dusty blue, and it has these sort of orange mustard tone centers in the middle of them. I will say I did stitch this up about an inch or so. The neckline it did go all the way down to here, so I did stitch it up a little bit just to make it a little bit more comfortable a little bit more wearable love this it's really well made i'll have it linked down below like i said it is an investment piece but if you love staple summer dresses and you find something that you really like it's a really good store to take a look at and then i have this summer dress this is really cute it has like a little cutout in the back i can try to find that one for you as well and then basically over here these are all the things that i'm keeping we have these that we're getting rid of and now let's quickly go through this whole section shouldn't take too long and we will wrap up this project you could see yourself just sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you you don't even notice should have told you straight away you don't have to be afraid
is going to wrap up today's closet clutter and organize with me i am super happy with how it turned out it was very minimal like i said i've already done the big purge and organization of this i can have that linked down below for you and it's just so nice to have processes like this only take an hour or so to do it did take me a little bit longer today because i was walking you guys through my process and everything like that moving the camera around but i feel like it turned out really good definitely needed a little bit of a tidy and i feel like we're just getting started in this room i feel like there's lots of different areas that i could declutter and organize so let me know if you guys would be interested in that make sure that you give the video a thumbs up you subscribe for new videos every single week about diy home making and home decor let me know if you have any tips or tricks when it comes to organizing your closet maybe you followed some tips today maybe you decluttered and organized your closet alongside me i would love to know anyway that's gonna wrap up today's video thank you for spending a little bit of your day here with me on my channel thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye